Paul Wood. Hello. You have so many jobs within the Methodist Church, but it feels like you've had a gazillion more jobs at conference. And I've often seen you walking with a very, very specific purpose. What are you doing here at conference? Well, if you see me walking with a specific purpose, it's probably because something's not quite going now. I want it to go, but trying to make it look like a swan. But my, um, my job here is to be uh, the coordinator for worship and so as to liaise with all that's happening on the top table with the presidency and the secretariat, along with the technicians and uh, everybody else who might be involved in worship to make that happen in that way. So you sat here at this little desk. Yeah. And so talk us through what kind of uh, what kind of is going on with your with your job. Well, there are various things. So we've got over here you'll see that we're on comms. That just means that I can talk to um, the all the guys at the back, all the technicians, yeah. so if there's something that we need to shout. Now normally in the normal conferences it would be every hour or so um, you know, we'll sing this hymn or whatever. Yeah. But more, yeah. there's been a lot more conversation about what's going on on Zoom or if they need yeah, things yeah, to yeah, it, or just yeah. clarifications yeah. in that way. So that's been that, and just making sure that the top table are aware of what's going on. Um, likewise, I'm on Zoom, on the Zoom call here. Nobody can see me, but I can see what's going on. So, but people who've been watching online, you've often sent them a message. Sure, that's yeah. you, and you're doing it from this computer. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, the reason they can't see me is because there are different things happening in different towns. I have to disappear. And you haven't got your makeup on. No, that's right. And I've got to wear a mask because we're in the hall, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I'm here, um, I haven't really got an official role other than to make up things, I think, on the hoof or to remind people. Of Dog's like body, gopher. Somebody's got to do it, haven't yeah. they, all that. Yeah. So that, that's that sort of thing, and then we also operate in the midst of that clutter, the two um, tribunes that you mm. see on left to right over here, and uh, we can make them go up and down. Do you want, I play? Do you want to do it? Let's, let's do it. No, I'll you do can it. do it, look over oh, here, look, okay. on these buttons okay. over here. So that you see there's a... Um, a one and a two, and if you press that, and hopefully we can just get a quick picture well, of one. No, I've press broken it. it. Just help the other button might help. Oh, yeah. Whoa, there we go. I've got the power. So you can get that up and down, <laughs> up and down. And um, anybody who's been watching online will notice that sometimes we've got that perfectly right, and other times you see people just going down a little bit, trying to find where the microphone is. But that's us. And if we're being naughty, we can play about with them, but we try not to too much in case the secretary sees us. How's it been? for try, trying to organise it and make the people online feel included and like they're here? I think to us that's been really important. You know, um, We know there are four-fifths of people in the conference out online and a smaller group here. So it's been important for us to include people in, in the acts of worship, to include them in the readings and in that type of way. We recognise that it's... Um, for nobody it's a perfect experience yeah. you know yeah. so musically you know nobody's able to join in in fact if you're at home you've got more of a chance because at least you Absolutely. can sing out in your home study I see people online they're like having the Boston. best time I'm like this <laughs> standing still I know <laughs> so aware of that and that's um, you know a real challenge when we we shaped all the liturgies well before conference course and so last week or the weekend before conference we were rewriting them and reshaping them in that way so that's been and we continue to change it so of course the preach service that we had this morning was a communion service up until yesterday and we reshaped yeah, all that yeah. as well but people can see the communion service mm-hmm. online it was a, a service that was uh, commissioned by the president for her yeah. actual theme yeah. so it could be there and other people can Perfect. use it so that would be a thing that people get to get just to end with it. can you tell us a story or something that's gone some, that's made you lose sleep something that's gone wrong that nobody would have known about well maybe a couple there was one that made me lose sleep at the beginning of uh, the presbyteral session when um, I'd arranged for a number of uh, districts to um, bring the little glass holders you know the trays that you yeah. do all that yeah. I'd said to them um, could you bring me one of these because we've never done communion this way in, yeah. in conference before but of course we've got to use little glasses and uh, people are like oh yeah I'll bring you two I'll bring you three and then as people started to arrive for presbyteral session they were like oh we decided you won't be doing communion so we won't bother doing it so, so the first communion service we had we were like we're going to have to put these on trays we've got no racks or anything so that was it do you mean like trays from the kitchen but that's all we got you know <laughs> I was like can, I mean I lay awake at night thinking well, can I make holes in boxes and things like that but we eventually we got one tray thank you Darlington <laughs> and then we made that happen uh, and then we, we, we managed and of course the community service today uh, on Wednesday didn't happen and I guess the one that um, I don't think anybody's fully aware of but was the when we had the love feast um, oh, on Tuesday yeah. because the love feast was planned to be better for people online than it was in the room because we knew people wouldn't be able to talk to each other with social distancing so well and we planned to put people into breakout rooms of four and when the guys at the back pressed the button for uh, going into force, Zoom just went into freeze mode for ages. And then they were having to manually pick people out and put them in the rooms, and you've got 250 people in there. And then when we tried to pull them back, 
there were lots of people stuck in rooms. Now they actually know that they carried on having some lovely conversations, and it was really nice to see. But we were really sweating, so um, we wrote, we rewrote Aww. the love feast on the hoof, and we were, I was literally going up to the vice president saying, "We'll do this now. We'll pray wow. at this point there." So when the, we had that beautiful time of open prayer, mm. it was not actually a planned time of open the Holy prayer, Spirit. but it was amazing. Holy actually. Spirit, yeah. praise God! And gradually, people got pulled out of uh, yeah. small group rooms back <laughs> into prayer. And when we got everybody there, we, we sang and gave thanks to God that we'd got them back but it was a bit wild so yeah things happen you know any message to our people online I want to just say um, it's been really good to have you at conference we are hoping and praying that next year's conference will be much simpler than the last two years and who knows we might have to get a few more people in the room take care God bless thank you thank you Paul Boyd. No thank you